Hello everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for July 2nd. Today's devotion is titled, A National Camp Out. The Bible reading is from Leviticus chapters, or not chapters, Leviticus chapter 23 verses 33 to 43. And the Lord said to Moses, give the following instructions to the people of Israel. Begin celebrating the festival of shelters on the 15th day of the appointed month, five days after the Day of Atonement. This festival to the Lord will last for seven days. On the first day of the festival, you must proclaim an official day for holy assembly when you do no ordinary work. For seven days, you must present special gifts to the Lord. The eighth day is another holy day on which you present your special gifts to the Lord. This will be a solemn occasion, and no ordinary work may be done that day. These are the Lord's appointed festivals. Celebrate them each year as official days for holy assembly by presenting special gifts to the Lord. Burnt offerings, grain offerings, sacrifices, and liquid offerings. Each on its proper day. These festivals must be observed in addition to the Lord's regular Sabbath days, and the offerings are in addition to your personal gifts, the offerings you give to fulfill your vows, and the voluntary offerings you present to the Lord. Remember that this seven-day festival to the Lord, the Festival of Shelters, begins the 15th day of the appointed month after you have harvested all the pro produce of the land. The first day of the eighth day, the first day and the eighth day of the festival will be days of complete rest. On the first day, gather branches from magnificent trees, palms, fron palm, <laughs> palm fronds, boughs from leafy trees, and willows that grow by the streams. Then, celebrate with joy before the Lord your God for seven days. You must observe this festival to the Lord for seven days every year. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed in the appointed month from generation to generation. For seven days, you must live outside in little shelters. All native-born Israelites must live in shelters. This will remind each new generation of Israelites that I made their ancestors live in shelters when I rescued them from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. We camped under the stars with nothing between us and the infinite and the infinite West African sky. No need for a tent in the dry season. But the fire was cru but the fire was crucial. Never let the fire go out, Dad said, prodding the logs with a stick. Fire kept wildlife at a distance. God's creatures are wonderful, but you never want a leopard or a snake meandering through your campsite. Dad was a missionary to Ghana's upper region, and he had a knack for turning everything into a teaching moment. Camping was no exception. God used campouts as a teaching point for his people, too. Once a year, for an entire week, the Israelites were to live in shelters made of branches from luxuriant trees, from palms, willows, and other leafy trees. The purpose was twofold. God told them, all native-born Israelites are to live in such shelters, so your descendants will know that I had the Israelites live in temporary shelters when I brought them out of Egypt. But the event was also to be festive. Rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. Camping may not be your idea of fun, but God instituted a one-week campout for the Israelites as a joyful way to recall his goodness. We easily forget the meaning at the heart of our holidays. Our festivals can be joyous reminders of the character of our loving God. He created fun, too. What's your favorite holiday and why? How does celebrating it remind you of God's goodness? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.